about time. What's going on? Yo. Rumor Report. Rumor Report. This is the Rumor Report. Talk to him. With Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. Well, Billboard did an article about Chris Brown's downward spiral. It says insiders open up about his struggles with addiction and anger. It's a really long article, but I did read the whole thing. So I did pick out some highlights for you on what was said. Now, some of these are from people that still work with him, and some of these quotes are from former employees. Now, a former employee says that Chris Brown would have trouble sleeping in his master bedroom upstairs. He would instead watch sci-fi movies all throughout the night. They said there would be empty styrofoam cups around the table, which is a sign that he hadn't been taking his medication because he's bipolar. He had been diagnosed back in 2014. They said he had likely also been sipping lean, which was his come down of choice after a Coke or Molly binge. Now, according to this article, the insider describes Chris Brown as scrolling through Instagram. They said he was always looking for clues about the status of Karuche. Who was she with last night? Where was she? Who was commenting on her most recent posts? Then they talk about a scene where a delivery man arrives and rings the bell and it rings twice. And then Chris Brown loses his temper and says, I'm going to show you what it's like to not work with Chris Brown for two weeks. And then he yelled at his security and kicked them both out of the house. Uh. Now, at the time, they said Chris Brown was preparing for the European leg of his One Hell of a Night tour. But according to different members of his team, various members, they said he would stay up for as long as three days in a row, snorting cocaine, taking Xanax, marijuana, Molly, lean. By the time he finally left for Europe, they said he had physically attacked his longtime manager, which we heard about in the rumors previously, uh, Mike G. According to Mike G, they worked together for four years, and he said that Chris Brown suffered from addiction, anger control, and violence. It is a lot of information in this article. It sounds to me like uh, somebody's trying to get a message through to Chris Brown. They've probably tried to tell him to his face numerous times and he's one, not listening. One mm-hmm. person in the article did say that they feel like they're the one person that's not a family member that really loves Chris Brown, but they can't manage to get through to him. Now, despite all of this, though, he has had a lot of commercial success. He had seven debuts on the Billboard Hot 100 in 2016 alone, which is a big deal. And he still went on tour, sold out shows, despite not being able to get into certain places like Canada and Australia. According to Chris Brown's longtime choreographer, he said uh, he's a natural. He's almost God's perfect person. No matter how he F's up and no matter what he does, another replacement for him is not on the way in the next decade. That don't mean God won't take away your blessings. When you abuse uh, the positions of power that God has put you in, God will take you out of those positions of power. Absolutely. Now, Chris Brown has also announced a spring tour party that's going to be 33 dates, and he plans to do that with Fab and with 50 Cent uh, among the, his special guests. OT Genesis, I think, is on that as well. Right, and they are saying that this is what he was diagnosed with. All this was revealed uh, previously. They said his probation officer, uh, the, These are, this is the report. He was diagnosed with bipolar 2 disorder, a condition defined by depressive and hypomanic episodes and often triggered by periods of extreme stress and drug and alcohol abuse. The report also cited untreated PTSD and inappropriate self-medicating. So that's what allegedly is going on with Chris Brown. So hopefully people do get him whatever it is that he needs. Now, according to his choreographer, having royalty did change his life. He's a good dad. He really loves her. He's not faking that. So when you see Chris Brown posting his pictures, he named his album after his daughter royalty. That's real. But even with his mom, things have changed. His relationship with his mom, who used to co-manage him early in his career, after he was in rehab, they said, according to a former member of Chris Brown's team, That's when, remember, he threw a rock through his mom's car window after a session in rehab. That's when things kind of went left and she stepped back. What kind of rock? Does it matter? It wasn't crack rock, you ass. You you know what? You were ass. She just said when he got right out of rehab. I don't know. (laughs) All right. uh, But uh, this article is in Billboard. Now, Chris Brown did, of course, respond. And here is what Chris Brown has to say. Y'all got to stop with this angry s***. Going through drugs and all this other shit. I'm tired of reading about some shit as soon as I got something popping. As soon as I want to promote a tour, party, a fucking album, anything, y'all bring up something. Now, who is this new? <laughs> y'all concerned with what girl I'm talking to or what person I'm dating or who I'm seen with? I'll be seen with whoever I want to be seen with. Just like you can be. People can be who they want to be. I am not hurting out here. Trust me. I don't know what's true and what's not true, but if it is true, I hope he gets the help that he deserves. Right. And, you know, much. I look at this because it is in Billboard, and I'm sure I look at Billboard as a reputable source of information. And they did interview multiple people that are in his campus, not just one person. Now, some of them are former employees, so we keep that in mind. But uh, according to Billboard right now, he has no manager. He has no security. There's nobody. 
that is He really do sound like the new Bobby Brown. I've been calling him Bobby Beige for a few years now, but mm. this is And they do compare him to Bobby Brown in the article as well. Bobby Beige. Drop on the clues, Brahms, for Bobby Beige. If you need help, get help, sir. <sighs> All right. Well, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your rumor report. Hey, hey. The Breakfast Club. Every weekday morning. Tune in.